TJ Fletcher was a founder and administrator of iSpoof, a website which sold other fraudsters tools to deceive and scam thousands of victims in the UK and across the world. Through the website, criminals bought the services provided by Fletcher to commit fraud on an industrial scale, resulting in total losses of more than £43 million to the victims in the UK alone. Fraud is not a victimless crime, and the cost to the many victims in this case has not just been financial. It has also had a huge emotional impact, causing extreme distress and devastation to those affected, many of whom had their bank accounts emptied and their life savings stolen from them. This is a complex and challenging case, and I would like to thank the Metropolitan Police and the many national and international law enforcement partners who worked with the CPS to secure the evidence for us to present in court. We were able to show how Fletcher was instrumental in the setting up of the website and how it gave people the tools to defraud others. We will continue to work with investigators to prosecute the fraudsters who use the website and we will be pursuing confiscation proceedings against Fletcher to recover the money he made from his criminality. We hope that this case will encourage all of those who think that they've been the victim of the fraud to report it to police or to action fraud. Every report can help prevent another person become a victim and enable us to prosecute offenders. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Helen Rance and I'm a detective superintendent in the Met Police leading the cybercrime unit. Today's result and sentence is the, is the result of a long and complex investigation by creating iSpoof, Fletcher enabled a gateway for thousands of criminals to defraud innocent victims out of millions of pounds. Before it was shut down, iSpoof was constantly growing, with 700 new users registering every week, and it was earning £80,000 per week. Fletcher... iSpoof scam, fraud and deception. How a low-altitude fraudster engineered one of UK's epic rip-offs and sophisticated scam. Tajiri Fletcher's software expended to pill for more than a heist of £43 million in Britain. With add-on bundles and packs with two-for-one deals, ostentatious promotion and expert consumer services, iSpoof looked like an exclusive know-how business. In its place, it was a cyber scam scheme that empowered lawbreakers to pretend as banks and variety of genuine facilities to swindle parodies of targets out of tens of millions of quid in pound sterling. Investigators have now exposed how one of United Kingdom's epic ever scams was engineered by a small-time fraudster who had little technical and high-tech proficiency but ended up for it with advertising and marketing genius and acumen. The city forces are now tracking tons of Mr. Big offenders who utilized Tajiri Fletcher's deceiving technology package, which had 58,000 customers at its ultimate. Fletcher, 35, was condemned at Southwark Crown Court on Friday to 13 years and four months in prison for designing and operating ice boots. That was taken down last year in British policing's biggest ever fraud operation. The court heard today that three police officers had spent 700 days investigating the operation with help from international partners, including the FBI, including Dutch police. And in total, uh, the website iSpoof that was run by Fletcher had defrauded people of around £100 million worldwide, £43 million of which was here in the UK. Although prosecutors told the court this morning that actually really those numbers are only estimates based on the best investigative work that police were able to do and the true costs uh, to people right across the, across the globe may never be known. Essentially what iSpoof the site did is it gave criminals the tools to impersonate banks so that victims were called from numbers that looked trustworthy, looked like they belonged to banks and then used those, that, that technique was used to con them essentially out of money. People were asked to transfer enormous sums, tens of thousands of pounds. One individual lost two million pounds in just such a transaction. And Fletcher, for his part, was paid millions of pounds in Bitcoin, 117 Bitcoin, totaling about just over three million pounds given to the site in total, of which just under two million went to Fletcher 
personally. And when he was arrested by police last year, he was found in possession of a Lamborghini, of two Range Rovers and of a Rolex watch with a total value of over £300,000 in spite of the fact that the judge said, told the court this morning that he had no known legitimate sources of income. And victims had reported their businesses failing as a result. They'd reported depression, sleeplessness. They'd reported breakdowns in family relationships. The judge said that the experience for them had been harrowing, and that is why she has imposed such a large sentence of 13 years and four months. TJ uh, Fletcher himself had expressed some remorse. In fact, he'd written a letter to the judge saying that he was sorry that he hadn't fully appreciated the full impact of his crimes on the victims, at least until he'd read the victim impact statement. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.